guys, what's up? It's Sacred. Welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be talking about motherfucking video games. And one of um, these games is from a franchise that I just happen to fucking love. And that is Fallout. And we're going to be talking about Fallout 4. I have been wanting to make a video like this for a long time just to get it off my chest. Um, but today, I'm going to be reasoning with Fallout 4 because I don't think it's that bad of a game that many people say. Is it... A yeah, bad RPG, of course it is, but I'm gonna give, be giving you guys my reasons to why I like and do not like Fallout 4. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the first reason to why I like Fallout 4, um, I did like the graphics. I didn't think they were that bad. Uh, to be completely honest, com um, from their previous games, I don't see what the complaint was with the graphics. Oh, it's too last gen. It wasn't that bad, and, and it, I don't think they played the previous games, and yeah, they're not great. I'm not saying, like, these graphics are, you know, perfect in every sense, and I do think in some areas the game looks like complete garbage, And but from a jump from where they were graphically back in 2011, 2009, from when Fallout 3 and New Vegas came out, that is marginally better than what we had in <coughs> New Vegas and Fallout 3, and even Oblivion. Alright, my second reason to why I like the game is because of the companions. Who doesn't love those fucking companions? A dog meat? Come on. Come on. And rest in peace, by the way. I did like the companions in this game. I, I have to say it. I think New Vegas, in my opinion, had better companions. But compared to Fallout 3, this was hugely a big improvement because in Fallout 3, your companions were just fucking pack mules that helped you fight. And I even believe they would, and when they killed an enemy, that you gained XP. So you can easily take advantage of that. And I know in Fallout 4 it's kind of like that, but you have to do some damage to the NPC that they do damage to, or before they kill it, um, in order for you to gain the XP. But <clears throat> yeah, this time around, companions are fleshed out. The only companion I do have a complaint with backstory-wise is Piper's. Hers is just so fucking generic. It's just the whole, oh, I was born in this part of the unknown part of this world, um, and inspirational parental figure or whatever is, a, you know, for the truth, and then you go, and then he does the right thing, and then he gets killed. And then she learns from that, and then that's how Piper was. That's just how I felt about it. I just thought it was a bit too bland. But the other ones are, too, are fine. They're not great by any means, but yeah, they... They're a lot better than what we got in Fallout 3, and yeah, I didn't mind the backstories for most of them besides Piper's. Alright, for number three, it is that fucking gun in that sweet melee action. Yeah. Um, by the way, I did love that. Uh, the, the, the gun play was marginally better, um, and I know this is what everybody says, but this is what Bethesda improved on, and yeah, I know it's with the help of, like, I think id Software, I believe, is the one that helped out with that, but at the same time, it was satisfying to use. Every time, if I feel like playing it, I'm like, you know what, this is awesome. I love playing a Fallout game that is corresponding with you know, the fucking action buttons you press and all that stuff. And I think that's pretty sweet. And also the gore too. I'll throw that in here with this one. Uh, the gore explosions are very satisfying. And especially when you hit, you have somebody's fucking head explode with a goddamn wrench. Tell me that ain't hot. All right, reason number four is that crafting mechanic. You bet your sweet ass crafting better be up to par in a Fallout game. Yeah, I get it. New Vegas had a crafting system in the game which people don't like to talk about. I, I didn't mind it, um, but I do think that Fallout 4's crafting system is a lot better because you can actually take all the junk in the game and, and you actually have to compromise. Do you want to use it to build something or to improve something? And you have to compromise it too. Like, you, you have to have a certain amount. In New Vegas, it's kind I believe it's the same way. I didn't really get much into crafting into New Vegas, but I don't know. It just, it's more ideal. And also with the weapon mods and all that stuff, the, like that is extremely better. And I know that the guns are limited in this game, but still having, being able to do that is just awesome on its own. 
All right, the fifth and final reason, this is just kind of very, I, I guess, generic, you, get, I, you can say, is that power armor. This time around, it actually feels like a set of armor, but there's nothing more that needs to be said. Uh, that's I know it's the same opinion as everybody else, but I actually do like that. Um, so, continuing. Now we're into the deep, deep, dark depths. We are in five reasons now why I hate Fallout 4. All right, starting uh, with number five, or with number one, is of course the lack of fucking player choice. Like, what was Bethesda thinking? I know that a lot of people say this, not say this, but they, I know they, they use that. They say, oh, well, it has a lack of player choice. Yeah, it does, but Bethesda, what were you thinking with that? Seriously. Like, it, it really feels like that you don't have, like, any merit to the world at all, and actually because you don't. Spoiler, by the way, <clears throat> and and it's annoying. It's like, damn, Bethesda. What were you, again? What were you fucking thinking? Did you think that dumbing it down um, would would improve the sales? Well, obviously, obviously. Yeah, I just think that you know the lack of player fucking choice is just a piss poor decision that they made. Um, I don't personally thing I don't know anything about making video games maybe they had to compromise that with something else I don't know hopefully hopefully it wasn't a shitty decision and that's the way they wanted to take these games it's kind of odd because you'll you'll see what well, you'll you'll hear why in a minute Number two, that fucking dialogue system. What in the fuck were they thinking with that? Yet again, four choices. Four choices that all mean the same fucking thing. Are you serious? What? Why? Like, even Fallout 3 didn't have that. Like, they, like yeah, Fallout 3 is one thing. But I don't like it for the reasons you may think. I, lo I don't like Fallout 3 because it, it never pulled me. Yeah, Fallout 4, why Bethesda with the fucking dialogue system? Four choices. Might as well have made them 10, you know, because you were giving that illusion of choice. So why not just make them 10 and have them all mean the same fucking thing and then you still get the quest even though you told the dude the fuck off. Like, in, in conversations don't matter in this game. It's just basic fucking NPCs talking to each other, like, or the player character. You know, it, it, it's one of EA's games, if I could, to, to summarize that all for you. It's like fucking Dragon Age. It's like Mass Effect. The, the whole dialogue thing, even just the fucking standing and talking shit. It, it's, it's kind of the same thing as that. I know a lot of people have been saying that, but it's, it's true. The settlement system. Bethesda. Okay, so I have a little bit of mixed feelings with this, um, with the settlement system. I, I don't use it. I, I try to. Every time, like, when I get into the game again, I just... I, I try to get into, to, to play the DLCs, of course, but I can never do it. And when I do and I'm exploring the world, I'm like, okay, what open world shit can I do? Well, I could do settlement stuff. And when I do it, I just get so bored and it's like, it's not fun. And I could see why people were saying it didn't need to be in this because that's not what Fallout is. I, I do think that a Fallout game could have had this, in my opinion, um, but I don't think Fallout 4 was that game. And to be quite honest, I, I don't like it because I don't fucking use it and I don't even go near the damn shit. So <clears throat> that's why I don't like that. I don't like the fucking settlement system. It's also unfunctional as hell. Like you literally have to get mods for it to be stable. That, that's just pathetic. All right, the fourth reason why I do not like Fallout 4. Have you noticed that every factory you go into, or got the feeling that it's just somewhat the same? It just kind of doesn't feel like a place worth exploring besides clicking on the terminals. Um, that's because of the copy and pasted interiors. In Concord, there's huge evidence of that. There's literally a house, I will probably show it on screen, that literally has nothing besides a fucking first aid kit just sitting in there, and it littered, the house looks like they didn't bother to touch it. They just threw it in there as it is, like the base model, and, and, and just left it there. There's like no indication to what that store was. They're like, and, and most of Concord is closed off, um, and again with the factories, they all kind of look and feel the same, and they're all made by the same structures, like, not structures, but you know, they, they have the somewhat of the same layout. 
It's just a place for you to fucking go to get loot. That's why they're copy and pasted. Okay, because they, they, the only thing they throw in there is a fucking terminal. And that's it. That's it. And, and I'm not going to lie. I'm not the one to read the terminals. All right. I've tried in New Vegas. It's just, it's too, too much. It's too time consuming to do that. And I understand. I like the terminals in New Vegas. I always reread the Vault 22 ones when I go in there. Like with a new character. But in, in this game, in these fucking locations, I just, sorry, I just can't fucking stand going into one area that looks remotely the same, like a factory that looks like the fucking Corvega plant or wherever the hell the first settlement location is with that Jared dude. Um, yeah, it, it it's just kind of the same. They're all just, the, the locations are just meant, or the buildings or the interiors are just meant for you to go and retrieve loot, nothing more than that. Okay, yeah, this is this is definitely not a good one. Uh, you have to play with mods for the game to actually be what it used to be. Um, that's not good for many reasons. If if a game okay has to have mods for the game to for it to be fun or for it to be functional at all, and that's not what I just mean. I I mean fixing the game period with mods and also getting the game to what it should have been, more difficult or, you know, something under those lines. No, they decide not to do that. They decide to say, fuck that shit. Let's have the mod or mod or modding community do it for us. And that's not good at all. Why, why do we allow this to happen? Mods are fun. I think the people that make them are very talented, and, and I would suggest that they should try getting into the industry. If they really want, if they're capable of making modifications, which is probably about the same, I don't know how that, how modding really works, I'm not, I'm no expert in that, but it's, it's fucking video game art that you can use probably as a portfolio if you want to get into that industry so and, and get suited with a company or something but back to the point yeah you have you, you and you also have to have mods for the game to feel like new vegas and like how how deep of an rpg that is and even with you know start me up you you can't even really alter the game for fallout 4 to be even better than new vegas and it's still bad it's just stupid dude like there's no reason like for you to even result to mods to fix your fucking game <sighs> the story number six yeah the story is pretty fucking terrible i i don't understand bethesda i really don't actually even when i i a little quick story i used to fanboy for this game pretty hard i remember watching regs's video on it and i got mad i even practiced for a response video uh to it and i'm glad i didn't but anyways because he, he made fair points against uh against fallout 4 so but one thing even at that time i did not like about fallout 4 and i just couldn't stand and i just hated with i just fucking hated and it was that goddamn intro and it was also the story of the game the fucking story the main thing that makes these games what they are is that interesting weird sort of story or you know intriguing story it's not here it's literally the same damn thing as fallout 3 let's just admit that openly it's the same thing the roles are, tw are twisted up now or flipped around instead of the parent going for the son or, I mean, the son going for the parent. It's the fucking parent going for the son. Does that sound any different compared to what we got in Fallout 3 at all? Like, and not only that, the factions suck ass. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with the railroad. I thought they were the fucking worst faction. They were just a bunch of fucking hippies that, you know, wanted, oh, save the synths, you know, synths are people too, man, peace. Even though a whole fucking boatload of them you know, killed it. I'm not trying to start any arguments in the community about uh, if since are people or not, but I just didn't like how the f that faction was written. And I also did not like the Minutemen. I, I still find it very fucking difficult to even side with them. I never have gotten their ending. I never even have bothered to get the railroad ending. 
The only ending I have gotten is the Brotherhood of Steel, and that's the only one I choose. And it's not because they're great. They're pretty bad, too. The N New Vegas, okay? I'm not fanboying. I, I, I don't like the whole fucking diverse thing with these games, so I'm not really trying to fanboy for New Vegas. But they did write the Brotherhood off really well, and here's why. Because that would have been overused as hell, and that would have, been, that would have gotten annoying. So in New Vegas, they were hiding. And, and they were actually damn near extinct, if I'm right, if if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. But yeah, they they weren't around that much in New Vegas because why do you think they they were they would have been an overused trope, and it's obvious. <laughs> and they've used them many times in games before, so that like the story is just fucking awful. And not only that, the like the plot twist, a little spoiler by the way, uh, your son is the villain. Oh. Yeah, your son is the villain. Well, guess what? I don't give a shit. That was actually the most fucking weakest ending to any game I've ever played. So far. So far. There's probably a game out there that I haven't played that's far worse than this. Far worse than this. Yeah, so I, that's, that's number six. I don't like the fucking story. Number seven. Oh boy, this is one everybody's going to agree with. The Creation Club. I have a theory, and this is just a the theory, that I think they intentionally remastered Skyrim and made Fallout 4 for that damn sacred Creation Club, which they haven't updated in quite some time. I just find it very strange, you know? Uh, but anyways, I don't like the Creation Club. I know in the gameplay you're seeing right now, I have gotten some Creation Club items, and I, that's mainly to support the Creation Club makers of those items, unless Bethesda made them, I, I don't know. But I, yeah, I did, and I, that was <laughs> pretty dumb because I don't use the other, I don't really use the Creation Club that often. Because I don't like the items in there besides the backpack that you're seeing. I, it's stupid, dude. Don't, don't ever, ever get into the Creation Club. None, the shit in here is just so bad and just poorly, not poorly implemented, but like it's just unworth it. It doesn't even add really anything new to the game. And if you get anything like those, uh, like the Skyrim sword that, or the Elder Scrolls sword and the fucking helmet from Skyrim, I. Uh, and then you get those, they kind of take away because they're not from these games. And it would make no sense for that to be the case. But those are my reasons. I added a little bit more. I should have pointed that out. I was meaning to do that, but I decided why not. I had seven reasons instead of five on why I didn't like Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was a massive failure in the RPG. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to add a little bit more. I didn't also like, um, for number eight, I didn't really give a shit for the uh, perk system. I, after realizing how fucking generic it was and how, just how pointless making a, a, a character dedicated to one thing, how pointless that was. Because you can literally make your, like, you can do that in this game, but that's when you first start. And once you get into, like, your higher levels, you're, you're able to basically max out every fucking perk in the game. I didn't like that as well. <laughs> the, the perk system just sucked. Like, I don't understand it. I thought it was just complete dog shit. I don't know why they even fucking added it to this game. It's just stupid. Don't add anything like this to a game again, Bethesda. I know they have the fucking dumb card thing in Fallout 76, which makes no sense at all. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons. Oh, no, no. Actually, let, let's, let's, let's continue. We got voice actors. Okay, I thought Brian T. Delaney and Courtney Taylor did a pretty stellar job. I think they're very talented people, and especially if you watch Brian T. Delaney's reaction to Fallout 4 in VR, he had so much potential, he just felt wasted in this game and like a fucking a voice block of nothing and and courtney taylor i'm sorry she's very talented too it's just this game wasn't for her she came off very dead at times and it kind of felt like you know i was i was playing with with a girl that's not interested in me <laughs> you know i'm pursuing that sort of thing um because it she just sounded kind of lifeless and some of the lines she delivered were kind of kind of bad and uh no shade thrown towards her. I think she's very... Her, her and Brian are both very talented, but I, I didn't care for the voice acting. Um, yeah, well, that's all my personal opinions on Fallout 4, why I liked it, why I didn't. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I don't 
you know, expect people to think that my opinions even matter. Um, I'm just stating them on the internet for Christ's sake anyways. So, well, those are my opinions on Fallout 4. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have want to state your concerns about a game uh, down in the comments, go right for it. I would love to read what your game or overrated game or just basically any game that you didn't like the, or a game that didn't or and follow for i'm sorry i'm 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 kind of you know uh but uh i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed see you in the next one peace the fuck out